A few people have requested this video and I'm so pleased to bring to you today my video on comparing films and novels. In the past I've talked about comparing text pairs including how to structure your essay as well so make sure you get familiarized with all of those videos after this one so that you can get that A plus on your next SAC or exam. Firstly, I want to point out the obvious. There are several comparison points you can discuss throughout your essays, including thematic comparisons, like how the hate race in Charlie's country explores racism, audience comparisons, like how I, Malala and Prive have been written for modern audiences, and views and value comparisons, like how the writers of both The Queen and Ransom empathize with the leaders of a community, for it's a challenge to hold up your public image. Notice though how with these comparison points that could be for any text pair, a play with a novel, a novel with a poem, all lend themselves to these comparisons. For today's video though, we'll focus specifically on comparison points that are only possible when you're studying a film and novel together. In other words, film techniques and literary devices. Throughout this video, I'll use examples of text pairs that are currently on the Vika study design. Even if you're not familiar with these texts, don't worry. It's more about the way you can compare these two texts that I'm showing you. So you don't have to worry too much about the actual details of the text themselves. So to recap, you need to know what makes a film and novel unique to themselves. In other words, you need to know film techniques for a film and literary devices for a novel. Let's start off with film techniques. In film, film techniques are the tools a director uses to develop meaning in his or her story. Film techniques can include interjecting old archival footage with film shots, as in The Queen, to recreate the real life events of the time, music as seen in Charlie's Country, or costume as seen in Pride, where the hair and outfits showcase an undeniably 1980s period. These are all things you can't achieve in the novel. You don't use camera angles in a novel. You don't use music in a novel. So these are the points you definitely want to refer to when talking about your film in your essay as evidence. Similarly in novels, literary devices, also known as literary techniques or meta language, help an author develop meaning in their work. These include imagery used heavily in The Hate Race and Ransom, narrative structure, and more. For example, while Ransom is written in a third person narrative voice, each chapter moves between different characters' points of view, from Achilles in the first chapter to Priam's in the next. You'll notice that some literary techniques can be used in films as well. For example, the film can be shot from multiple characters' perspectives to give us an overall understanding of an event. So, how can you tie film techniques and literary devices in an essay? Here's an example using Ransom and the Queen. Based on the topic, compare how identity is presented in the two texts which I've pulled from our How to Write a Killer comparative ebook. Identity is most often based on traits which are seen to define a human being, whether physical or personality related, and they become the hallmarks of who that person is. Some of these traits come to be synonymous with who a person is according to others. And one of the most pertinent examples of this is the effect of the title of supreme leadership on identity. For example, Priam's role as king utterly defines him to everyone he presides over because it's been his for almost his entire life. His self is metaphorically described as an abstract of the land he represents, his people's living map, as though his identity belongs to and is solely shaped by Trojans. The character of Queen Elizabeth II in The Queen is similar, only this time it's in the eyes of the United Kingdom and arguably the world. The opening shot of the Queen shows her in an upright posture, patiently posing for a self-portrait, while expressing that she's envious the painter is able to vote. This contrast between her royal obligations, the portrait, and her inner thoughts portrays the royal obligations the Queen has to uphold, and how her image is immortalized into the painting for the public to create their own opinions of her. For these leaders, their respective titles of king and queen equivalent to who they are according to their people. I hope by giving you this example, it's helpful for you in understanding how you can use film techniques and literary devices together in an essay. If you'd like to see more A-plus examples comparing texts, 
including how to structure your comparative essays. Please check out our most popular guide, How to Write a Killer Comparative. Most importantly, we're always updating this book in accordance with the Vika study design, adding in fresh text pairs as they come out onto the study design, like the 2021 text pairs that are going to come out soon. So I know you're definitely gonna get your bang for your buck with this ebook. So if you wanted to head over and even download a free sample so you can see a preview of what's inside, then go for it. I'll chat to you guys really soon. Bye.